Back contains five green marbles, three white marbles, and four blue marbles. Find the probability that when drawing two marbles without replacement, they are both white. Okay, so I think this is multiplication rule of probability because it says find the probability that when drawing two marbles, so we're taking more than one marble, and they're both going to have the same characteristic. They're both white. That's classic multiplication rule of probability. So when I read that problem, then after identifying its multiplication rule of probability, I want to write a statement out, right? So I'm going to say probability that both are white. Okay, so again, that's just something to indicate to myself what I'm dealing with here. Probability that both are white. I'm going to draw two spaces then to represent the two selections, right? The two selections of marbles. Now, what should this first fraction represent, right? That's what we have to figure out. What's this probability supposed to be? Well, I'm going to say that this is going to be the probability, right? That the first marble I take from the bag is white. So it's going to be the probability first is white. Using basic probability, it's going to be the number of white marbles, right? Over the total in the bag, right? Number of white marbles over the total in the bag. Now, the other side, the next part, is that it says here in the problem very clearly, it's without replacement. Without replacement. So if I know that it's a without replacement, then I assume that when I go back in, there's not going to be as many marbles left. So I'm going to say that it'll be the total left here in the bag on the bottom. And then this is going to be, since I want them both to be white, it'll be number of white marbles left, right? Number of them left in the bag, because we're going to assume that the first time I went in there, I actually took a white marble. We always pretend that it turned out the way this says, that both are white. So the first time I went in there, I got a white marble. Second time I go in there, it's going to be that I get a white mar marble. But the probability of that is going to be given that I got a white marble on, on the first selection. So probability of getting a white marble on the second selection, given that I got a white marble on the first selection. So again, this is how you break it down. Number of white marbles in the bag divided by the total, and then times the number of white marbles left in the bag divided by the total number that are left. All right, so if we do that, then it's just a matter of counting from the problem how many white marbles there are. Well, the bag initially contains five green, three white, and four blue. So I'm going to assume initially when I first go in there, there are exactly three white marbles out of a total of well, 5 and 4 make 9, and then 3 more make 12, right? So a total of 12 marbles in the back, right? Okay. Now from there, when I go back into the bag, I'm assuming that I took a white marble, I put it aside, right? In the first selection, I had a white marble, I put it aside, put that over here, went back into the bag, how many white marbles are going to be left? Well, there will only be two white marbles left. How many total marbles left in the bag? Well, there were 12 before I took the first one out. Now there will only be 11 left. And basically, that's it. When you're done, you do the multiplication, and you get 3 times 2 is 6, divided by 132, 12 times 11. All right, let's divide that and see what we get in our calculators as a decimal. So we will have 6 divided by 132, and the final solution then becomes basically 0 0.0455, and that's 4.55%, and that's your solution.